Welcome to Valence Developer Diaries number 37. Today we're going to walk through the breadcrumb ability in a Nitro app, built, app and also the new feature of being able to um, move existing widgets around like from one section to another or from within one container to another. And that's always been that's always been problematic. I know I've done that often, where I create some widgets and and or, and, and I have my application and I've got my behaviors in, and then I need to change the widgets to be somewhere else, and then I have to remove it and right. re-add it, and then I've lost all my behaviors, all my link to app variables, and you have to redo it every time. So this was a, a welcome feature. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, um, this was, we did this, the last one, last developer diaries. I'm, I'm thinking it was, uh, well, we listed the orders. I don't know if we did any tab stuff, but then I think we also talked about like the vertical scrolling container. Um, so I don't know, what do you think, Sean? We, this is something we could probably just change or at least- Yeah, maybe just the copy the, yeah, take this app and, and instead of the navigation of going from section to section with the the back button, we can implement the breadcrumbs. So that that application you just showed goes three levels, right? You go from A to B to C. Yes. But with yes. the breadcrumbs, you'll be able to do the same thing, but you'll be able to go from C to A if you wanted to without having to hit a back button twice. Okay. So yeah, we have the three sections. Starting from main order and then the detail, order detail. So well, first I think we don't need the back we right, we just remove that back button. I think I think, yeah, remove that back button. Just... Um I guess and I then on the on the main that. screen. Yeah, I should have turned this on. So this is just enabling it. This is just visually just showing you what it would what it could look like. It's up to you how many steps, right? Right. So as a result of him selecting that checkbox, you know, so now previously when we would um do our right our row click, you know, we still want to do everything, but now we want to output a breadcrumb. So now that breadcrumbs uh menus available so we would output a breadcrumb here now and this text is going to be what i mean it could be yeah so you can you can you can hard code a text Let, let's just let's just do that first so just put you know whatever testing or whatever let's just see if we do this in steps and then maybe nothing else for now, okay. just to, so let's just see what that does. Okay. So I think what we'd want to do is probably output the the name of the customer that was clicked, right? Right. We probably want the name of the customer that was clicked. So uh, in order to do that, so if we go back or maybe if we just uh, remove that because we don't want it to say testing, um, we would create an app variable so if you do set app variables and let's just add an app variable like crumb text or something. Okay. And then let's set crumb text to the customer that was clicked. Okay. And now let's do that add breadcrumb again. But what we want to do is we probably want to output two breadcrumbs here. So maybe, maybe put home. That's true. Right. For our first one home. 
and then another breadcrumb, which will be the text, we'll link it to crumb text, which would be the name of the customer. So let's just do that first and see what we get. Okay, so notice that the first breadcrumb is clickable and the, the active one is, is not. So now we need a way to get back to home. So when we click home, you know, we actually want to go back to that main section. So the way we do that with breadcrumbs is we fire events. So if we go back to that... Um, home. Yep. And let's fire an event like, I don't know, home. Mm -hmm. And then on home, so now we're going to listen for that. So if we go to event listeners and add a listener, it would add it for us. So that was created by the breadcrumb. And we'll just, uh, I think what we want to do here this, is now. This, we don't want to do a pre, we want to just probably show that section. Exactly. Now, now we just want to show the main section. Okay. So now if we click home, now we get back. So in addition, so, you know, we, we have two choices here. We could say, yeah, we want our breadcrumbs to show all the time. So maybe initially we create this home breadcrumb or do we just, and I would, I would, at, my opinion would be now we'd clear the breadcrumbs at this point. Right. So we'll see a new action here. So on home, we're going to show it. And then we're going to breadcrumbs. We're going to clear all breadcrumbs. I don't know if you say, did you save the app? Uh, I thought I did. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what's the next step? The so next now would be is what orders from the orders we drill into the an order. The order. Okay, so when we drill into an order, I want to output another breadcrumb that gives me the order number. So when we click that order list, we're going to set our app variables. Our crumb text will now be, I don't know, like order. Nice. And then here we'll fire an event that, you know, what maybe, uh, you know, I don't know, back to orders or something or. And now we listen for that event. And in this case, now we want to show that. And I don't think we want to clear anything because it'll clear it for us. I think, I think at this point now we just want to show the order section. And do the navigate to previous? Uh, no, it'll handle that for it'll us. We'll do that. Okay. Yep. So show section. All right. Okay. So now toy shop, after you click it, should be selectable after you go into an order. And now if you click there, you go back. Did we not set that event up on Toy Shop? Oh, I think we, I think, I think we, I think we set it up wrong. Yeah, so we'll go to the, yeah. So when you click on a customer order, that's where we output the, okay, back to orders, right? All right, fire back to orders. Back to orders. 
Okay, and what was back what over? It's customer order, right? Yeah. Be clear that I don't know that we want. To, I don't think we care about state or anything here because we're not using our back button. Everything's controlled through the breadcrumbs. So yeah. So show section. I guess so, isn't this <laughs> the breadcrumb on the click of this breadcrumb that we've added, right? Which will be. Yeah, that should do it. Custom order. Let's see what we. I don't know. We got something. Messed up, it looks like. Let's see. Can you go back to home? Yeah. All right. Well, this is a good old learning experience. Let's bring up developer tools and see if we see anything in our log telling us something. <laughs> I guess further proof that these are live sessions. <laughs> Breadcrumb does not have an event event attached to it. No event fired. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. The toy shop. Yeah, it's saying there's no event attached to that. All right. Uh, let's do this. Let's cancel. Let's 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 just remove it and add it back. I don't. I mean, not, not that that's a, a real solution, but that's, that's order. I'm not sure why that would be. I hope that's the issue. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we found an embarrassing we, bug in yeah, the development bug? Is it Do still something else? That there's no. Because it says breadcrumb the toy shop does not have an event attached to it, no event fired. Hmm. Isn't yeah. that just a tab of the section you're already showing? Or what am, what am, am I confused? Uh, that, it is, it, it is its own section, so it should just be firing. I'm just curious. What if you do, what, <laughs> what if you put it to home? Because we know the home one's working, like just that totally guessing here no what are we doing about use this in other places hmm I don't know. It clearly says right there that it fires an event. It, um, so you, yeah, uh, uh, that breadcrumb is at the grid level, and that on. It's at the app uh, level. All breadcrumbs are at the app level. Um, uh, no, but okay. So you add it to one grid. Um, is, Put a hard coded text, Johnny. Let's just see if, uh, like, just to make sure that we know we're getting the right thing. I don't know. Oh, it's not. Oh. Hello, right. That's, 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 <laughs> we want us, there we go. Yeah, I can't believe. Uh, yeah, okay. we were just, that's what I was thinking. Like, we're not we're just doing it at the wrong right. level. It's so stupid. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that, that last breadcrumb will be back to orders. 
this will do nothing. There's no event. This is the, this is right. the fine. Okay. That's our second breadcrumb. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Back to orders there. And then the last one has no event because there's, it's the yeah. end of the day. There's nothing to so, do. Yeah. The confusion was that we had this. Yeah. All right. Wait, did it? That's good. No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. This. Okay. So now drill into an order and then all the way back home. Okay, nice. All right, so you can use, you know, you can use the breadcrumbs for the entire app navigation if you wanted, or you could just, you know, put them in a certain point, you know, like I have regular navigation with my back button, let's say, and then, you know, at some point I insert breadcrumbs to, to do things. So it doesn't need to, you know, take over the entire navigation of the app. You could just be selective where you want it. Right, that's true. Hopefully that made sense. We we made it confusing by yeah, we did make ourselves. it confusing. Yeah. Give me another cup of coffee. Um okay. And then uh, yeah, is there any well, we did make it confusing, but if there's any questions, just let us know. Um the other thing was the moving of a widget, an existing widget. So I don't know, we could to demonstrate, I guess we could what attempt to move this one because it has an event. What do you think, Sean? Uh, I don't know. I, I think just I think just showing it from us, like not even messing with this app, just showing it from a simple standpoint, you know, or any, or yeah, just yeah. So now, if you if you go to add widget now, notice now this has changed. So you have three sections: available widgets, you have utility widgets, which always existed, but it was a button. Then you have current widgets. So these are the current widgets in your application. So I happen to be. If you notice my app section, I'm I'm focused on the cust order section. So notice that text up there. Click any widget to move into the cust order. So now we are actually, you know, whatever it's so it's dependent on what section you were you were on initially. So now you just can as just, if you were if you were adding a widget. Just as if you were adding a widget, right. exactly. So now you can choose to move these widgets. So suppose let's maybe if you cancel out, let's cancel out. Let's add a new section. Okay. So suppose, you know, my order detail section, I don't know. Um, you know, I want to move that customer form in there. So I just click it. So now the customer form gets added into that section. If you go to order detail, now we should see that it's um, no longer in there. And if you go to behaviors, we should see that the behavior is still there. So we would do that when we click an order, I assume, toy order list. And our filter is still still there. That's the important thing: is that all you know, all of your behavior actions still remain with it. And now, if I, I and mm -hmm. if, if I moved this list to wherever I moved it to, these behaviors would stay. Right, exactly. The behaviors stick. And then maybe if you if you exit out of this app, let's maybe if we just start a new one just to show. Because I know there was also, yeah, so like if we just create a new app and just select anything. And then select another widget. And if you hover over that other widget or any any widget and go to settings 
can just scroll all the way down. Notice there's that convert to pop up as well now. So you know, you and we can do the same thing backwards, I believe, right? So I'm just gonna convert it. Yes. So now it's a pop up. So in this case, you know, it doesn't make it doesn't benefit much because I could have just removed the widget and then re-edited it as a pop up. But if I had my behaviors and my link to app variables and all that set, you know, that's where the benefit comes in because now I don't need to redo all of that. Yeah, like you said earlier, before if I was forced to have to make a large a, a, a change from a, a widget moving from a section or from a set from one section but into maybe a utility container, I would have to blow, I would have to remove that widget, which would then remove it, all of its behaviors and app variables that are done on it already, then re-add it and redo all that. So hopefully, hopefully that all made sense. Yeah. So it's just if you, you know, this is use if you already have an app, you've already went down a path, and then you find out maybe from the users they're like, uh, could you do the? Can it be over here? This should help mm -hmm. if it has you know actions on there and stuff, so you don't have to redo all that stuff. You just can move the existing widget around your app. I think that's all I think the same if I did this, right? Just real quick. So nav ex exports. I'll have to convert it back. So yeah, you get the idea. So Johnny, you converted a a, a widget from a section to a pop-up. Can you go pop up to a section? I believe so. Um, add widget. If not, we'll make sure it is next update. It's the nav exports. Okay, no, you can't right now. Damn it, Bob. We'll add that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. What version is this in? Uh, as of the latest version, uh, which would be. Um, four sixteen. All right. Uh, any, but do you have any other questions, or even if it's off topic of what we're talking about, while we have everybody on? All right. Sean, you have anything else, or? Uh, I think that was, yeah, I think that was it. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Um, and then I. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll talk soon at the next developer diaries. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Have a great day.